Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw equal circles inside a regular polygon such that each of those circles will be touching two other circles and one side of the polygon. So this is what I'm saying. So right here I already have the hexagon drawn, but let me just show you what we are going to be drawing in this video. So let me draw the hexagon. So this is a freehand sketch. So if you're having a hexagon like this, so how do you draw since this is the six sides, so how do you draw six, six equal circles inside this hexagon such that each circle will be touching two other circles and one side? So, for example, this particular circle, this particular circle now is touching this, and it's also touching this circle. In addition, it's touching this side. So, if you look at this particular circle, for example, this one. This particular circle is touching this side and it is touching this circle here on the right and this circle on the left. So I'm going to be showing you how to go about it. Now, the step is the same thing irrespective of the polygon that you are dealing with. Either 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever. The step is still the same thing. So just follow along and I believe at the end of this video you'll be able to draw uh, equal circles inside any polygon. So before we get into this video proper, if you are here to subscribe to PA Academy or you are new to PA Academy, uh, please click on the subscribe button, the red button showing subscribe. Please click on it. It won't cost you anything. Just click on it and the bell icon beside the subscribe button. All right. Thank you very much if you've just done that. And let me know in the comment section below if you subscribe. So just write in the comments, I've subscribed. All right. Thank you very much. So now let's get into the video. Now to save us some time, I've gone ahead to draw the hexagon. But if you are watching this video and you don't really know how to draw hexagon or any other and other regular polygon, just check the playlist on technical drawing. You'll find different tutorial and then on how to draw different uh, regular polygon, be it pentagon, heptagon, uh, octagon, onagon. You'll find the videos there. All right, now so now that I already have the hexagon drawn, so let me just give it label it the sides. So that let's call this point A, B, C, D. E and F. So the next thing to do is let's join opposite sides, opposite points together. So from point B to point E. So I've joined that together. I will be making making use of faint line. So when you are doing, you make it faint. Even though I'm not using too many faint lines here, so that you can see it properly. But when you are doing yours, you make it faint. So I've just done from D to A and now from points F to C. So now I've divided it. So the next thing we have to do is we can use our protractor to divide the angles. Because you have to bisect each of these angles from this center point. Now, this is the center of this hexagon. So let's call it O. Point O. So to save all the stress of dividing it, we are going to use our protractor. So once I place my protractor, so make sure you place it properly. All right, so I'll be marking at 30 degrees, 90 degrees, and 150 degrees. So those points, I'll draw it through point O to the other side of the hexagon. So I'm going to be having something like this. So like I said, it's, they are going to be faint lines. So having done that, now let's work with this particular OAB, this particular side, OAB. So with your compass, you are going to bisect either this angle OAB or OBA. Any one of it, you'll be fine. So once you pick your compass as a convenient length, you put it on point B. So I'm working with point B. 
So you draw an arc on line AB and line OB. So I'll increase the length. So what I want to do is to bisect this angle. So I place the compass on point B, draw an arc on this other part, on this arc that cut line AB, draw an arc. So let me note the point of intersection. So this is the point of intersection. So from the point of intersection to point B, I'll draw a line. Now this line that I've just drawn, so you note where the line is touching, the line I've just drawn from this angle B. It's looking blur. All right. So from this angle B, the line I've just drawn is touching this line coming from O. So let me call this point G. So line OG. So this line from B is touching line OG at this point. At this point. So let me call that point one. Number one. Now this one represents the center of the circle that we are going to be drawing on this side. Represent the center of the circle. But before we go ahead to draw the circle, there's something we are going to do. Now, what we've done here, now, in order for us not to do the same thing to all these other parts, we'll pick our compass, place it on point O, and adjust it to 1. So here we have 1. So to so this point where we have 1. From that point, we are going to draw a circle. So I hope you can see it. So from that point, we are going to draw a circle. The reason why you are not really seeing it, I'm not putting more too much effort to make it thick because they are not they are just construction lines. So it's the main circle itself that is going to be thick. We are going to make it lines to be very thick. So now we are those that circle is touching this line that on the side. So that means it's touching it on this on this point. So that will be the center of the circle. So you move from this point on line CD. The line that is perpendicular to line CD, where the circle is touching that line. This is it. On line DE, the line that is perpendicular to it, this is it. The circle is touching it here. And it's touching it here. And here. So that represents the center of the circle that we are going to be drawing in all those sides. Now to get the radius of the circle, the radius of the circle is simply from this point 1. From point one to point G, so you bring in your compass again, and you place it there. So that means point one to G represents the radius of the circle. So having gotten that, you can now draw the circle. So let me go through uh, over it so that it can be bold. So now we already have the first circle. You can see this is the first circle. So with the same radius, you go to the next side. Place your compass there. And then here we have our second circle. So with the same radius again. So you don't, we don't need to start you know, bisecting the angles all over again like we did here. So you need to be careful when you are doing this. So we go to the next one. Alright, so my camera went off, but I've gone ahead to draw the remaining remaining circle. So it's the same principle, the same step, irrespective of uh, the polygon that you are working with. So if you find this video helpful, or uh, if you find this video helpful, kindly give it a thumbs up. If you are subscribed to PA Academy, please uh, click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. If you have any question or any comments or any video request for me, just leave them in the comment section below. And check out our playlist on technical drawing for more videos on that technical drawing. Check out our website, paacademy.co, paacademy.co.
www.ssa.co for more helpful resources. So with that guys, I'll see you all in another video. Thank you very much.